Hey everybody, it's the Big Weave and we're back for Beer Weaving Fish. Number 13, and you have me. The Little Weave. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a great one. So we're back, episode number 13. We're back. And what do we do first things first in all of our episodes? We got uh, a new beer. We got a new beer. <laughs> Go ahead. I like the beautiful little weave explain the beer. Columbus Brewing Company. It's a summer teeth. Summer teeth? Hmm. And it's a German style lager. So the Columbus Brewing Company is roughly about an hour away from us in Columbus, Ohio. We do live in Ohio, so we like to have Ohio beers. And, wait, we're gonna pour them into these fine glasses that we got from Granville, Ohio at the... Uh, Three Tigers Brewing. The Three Tigers Brewing Company. It was a cool little brewery. It was an awesome brewery. I. We Thank enjoyed their beer. Great beer. And they have mussels. Everybody mm. loves mussels. They did have good food. Do you like these mussels? Really? All right. Anyways, first things first, perfect pour. Their mussels were good. All right. Are you ready? I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to pour mine up here so you guys can see it. Because she already started. See how I do this? Slightly turning the glass. I have nearly a half inch of head. Pour, 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 pour. Take your time, and now I'm going I won. to go in. A boom! Look at that. You guys be the judge. Let us know in the comments who wins this week. Mine's better. Cheers. Cheers. Sip time. Mm. I thought it was going to be a little bit uh, rougher. A little bit darker, but no, look, it's summery. Not too shabby. It's not too shabby of a beer. Check it out. Summer teeth. All right. Now that we have that over with, I think we got some exciting news, or I do. We have a college graduate. And it's not me. Nope, this one. Here, I'll show you guys what I look like. Right. Here we go. Cap on. Oh, we got better. Look. Oh, we have even one more step. Even better. She's proud of this one. 4.0 the whole time. That's with four kids, me, and he's a pain in the ass, and the fish, and work, and she still got 4.0. I deserve another sip. Everybody sip. Don't let a weave. So, as a uh, recent graduate, how do you feel? Hmm. Good. I'm happy it's summer. It is summer. I'm ready to get some of these fish outside and oh, get everything yeah. moving. So my first episode of Summer Tubs 2022 has started. We cleaned it out. I'm gonna get the other one out this week. We're gonna add some plants. And then the third part will be the fish and then we'll probably have some little ones here and there all summer on how they're doing. So check those videos out. Also, Also what? We had a cool project that happened within the last month. I'm You're frozen. still on pause. I'm pause. <laughs> Forgot what he was saying. Anyways, so being that it was the end of the school year, Mama graduated. We had a really cool business project that Zuri did. And let's give a little background on Zuri. She is a nine-year-old little girl. She's in the third grade, and she loves the fish. While I was getting my associates in business, she got to do this awesome business project. This year, they do it in third grade. We got to do it with Xander, our second youngest, and we had fun with it. So, of course, we had to make it 
this, this related. related. So how do we do that? For this, we're gonna let her, we're gonna show a video of her explaining the project. And then we're gonna come back and give you a little, little bit extra. Hey guys, welcome back to Dream Weaver Aquatics. And guess what? I had sail there today. And guess what I sold? Fish. They were guppies and we also sold shrimp. And we sold out really, really fast. This is my poster that I made at school. So I put Dream Weaver Aquatics. They were $12. There's the shrimp, there's the fish, the fish food, and the shrimp. One fish only, and one dollar fish and shrimp food. So I made about $260 doing this. It was fake money, but at least I got money. <laughs> so I'm going to be rich soon, I guess. <laughs> So, yeah, that was my poster, and it was really fun doing this business project. I got to do it with my family, and the best part was, well, getting the money <laughs> and seeing my fish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like to Dreamweaver Products. Bye. So that's pretty cool. It's great to have kids involved with the hobby because it makes my life easier and I get things sometimes because everybody likes a fish, not just dad. Anyways, so as you've seen or talked about, these are the little cups we made. Actually, she was pretty much most of it. If you want to explain our little cups, how we did this. So, we got these little cups off of Amazon. We added sand to the bottom of each of them. And I have a hair. Hang it, dang it. Sand to each of them. And then the water, we added some horns work and either a rock or a shell to each of them. We also added either a guppy or um, a shrimp. Shrimp. We got our business card on here. And then we also have the care instructions to take care of each one. And of course, it says don't open me till we get home. They are third graders. And place me in a new habitat because we all know this is cup. It's not big enough for our friendly guys. Um, and then it just gives the uh, general information about them. What you adopted, whether it was a male guppy, a female guppy, or if it was a uh, what kind of shrimp. And then water, pH, the whole like nine that. yards, what food to give. And then she also sold on the side, which they had to buy if they bought the animal. Um, they had to buy the food. So she sold each of them for $12 mm -hmm. and then the food for a dollar. And she sold out within 10 minutes. Even the teachers were buying them. Yeah. Yeah, we had, what, three teachers buy them and they bought four total. So that's pretty cool. And we were lucky enough, her teacher was so great this year. She called the parents to make sure it was okay. They brought them home. Because so that's all, super awesome. Yeah, because all the parents, some of them have fish tanks or... Went out and bought fish tanks, I know some of them. And we, we had to make sure that it was okay. So it was good the teacher did that for us. Yeah. So that was good. So they so, all went on home to good homes. Yeah. And she made good. a few hundred dollars. She School does. money. School money. All right, so fish-wise, we did the beer. We did a little talk about the weave, and now it's the fish. And the biggest update we have is, if you watch our videos, you've seen we've had some new fry and our Brichardi daffodils had babies. Now we've only had these fish for a little over a month and they've already spawned. Two pairs of them have spawned. 
So that's pretty exciting. If you want to see more about that, dive deep into the Dreamweaver Aquatics and look back uh, maybe two or three videos. Yeah. We're getting ready to start our summer off with a splash. Yeah, the kids, kids are getting into the pool tonight. It's going to be a good, fun night. And here is a really special part. So the last beer we even fished, we asked if you guys wanted to do the final sip with us. If you watch any of our beer we even fish, we always have a final sip. Well, it's nice, the two of us, but we wanted to bring somebody else on. So we got a special video from a special guy, and that's my buddy from Canada, Chris at Stubbs Aquatics. Now, I'm gonna play his video, but first I just wanna tell you about him. He's got some awesome, awesome koi. He has beautiful water gardens outside. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. You have to check out his videos. Stubbs Aquatics, I'm going to put it in, in, in the description so you guys can check his, his uh, YouTube channel and his Instagram out. He's got some good stuff on Instagram, too. So let's go ahead with Stubbsy. Hi there. I'm Chris from Stubbs Aquatics currently here with Mark and Chelsea at Dreamweaver Aquatics in their great show Beer, The Weaves, and Fish. It really doesn't get much better than that other than maybe a perfect pour and a sip of your finest beer. Now currently I'm going to have a little sip of Molson Canadian 5%. So, here's to you guys, Mark, Kelsey, and maybe a little sip. <sighs> okay, maybe it wasn't a little sip. Take it over, guys. Hey, thanks for that cheers, Chris. And if anybody else wants to, go ahead and email me. I'll have the link, and we can do a last sip with you. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Well, that was that was a fun episode. Happy Memorial Day. And we'll see you next time on Dreamweaver Aquatics. Like and subscribe. Ooh. Now, Mama's going upstairs to get her graduation hat. The big weave sitting here, waiting for his beer in the fish room.